And I'm in my 13th year. Uh, I'm getting to that dinosaur age for, uh, for uh, NFL players. The average career length is three years, um, so I'm definitely exceeding that. Quarterback, though, I'm, I'm kind of right in the prime years, uh, although Tom Brady's kind of rewriting some of that, uh, what it means to be in your prime a little bit uh, at 39. Uh, being 33, you have to just be smarter about the, uh, the workout you're doing. The diet has been the biggest change I've been making the last you know, three or four years, really focusing on what I'm eating. Uh, I've been trying a, uh, a more keto-based diet where I'm thinking about my carb intake and being smart about the timing of my carbs and trying to get my body used to burning fat first. The areas I think I can, I can tell you I focus on the most are um, you know, my back, uh, because every time you do a push, you should do a pull. So, you know, I love to do bench press, um, but if you're doing a lot of that, you gotta make sure your shoulder flexibility stays good and you're doing enough back exercises to balance that out. For a quarterback, though, if we're thinking about most important exercises, core is very important. You need to have a strong core because everything comes from that when you're spinning and trying to get torque after you use the ground to, to create force. It moves up through your legs, hip rotation, shoulder rotation, that's all core. So you have to have a strong core. So a number of core activities. I love to do a body saws, whether you're on a um, exercise or Swiss ball, whatever you want to call it, or using the ground with some uh, stuff on your feet that can uh, slide across the board. You're basically just bringing your arms in and out. Uh, it uh, kills the core. And then uh, really got to take care of your legs. So the two exercises that really get me the most with my legs would be uh, lunges, forward lunges and side lunges and then uh, squats, which are, which are great. Not a ton of weight, uh, but a high rep. Well, I play in the cold, but I, I don't like uh, having to be out in the cold uh, too often. So I haven't gotten deep into cryotherapy, um, but a lot of my teammates, uh, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, who we saw earlier, they get into the cryo and some of the uh, you know, the cold tank at the, at the stadium. Um, you know, sleep is very important to me and rest. I have an amethyst uh, biomat that I like to uh, lay on when I'm lounging at the house. Uh, the goal of the biomat is to stimulate um, circulation and decrease inflammation. Now, obviously, if you're eating well and, and foods that don't increase inflammation, you're, you're uh, helping your body out, especially at a time where in the NFL during a long season, there's going to be inflammation, there's going to be swelling, there's going to be injuries and bruising. Um, I am big in uh, massage. I, I get uh, a couple massages a week, deep tissue. Um, I get acupuncture pretty frequently. And then also dry needling, which is more of a deeper uh, pressure point uh, release. I believe in both of those. And then just the regular body maintenance. I care deeply about uh, being great and because of that quality and that desire, you have to take care of your body. And when we're talking about you know this cover and this shoot, to me it's all about the transformation I've made in my own body over the last five years, especially as I think about my longevity and my legacy. I think it's all connected. Um, I don't want to just be a uh, you know, a guy that's had the success I've had so far and it not go anywhere. I want to be a lifetime Green Bay Packer. I want to be a guy who can play well until the end of his career. I don't want to be somebody who falls off at some point and kind of uh, wastes away into oblivion. I want to be a guy who, um, you know, could play even when he wanted to call it quits.